also tonight a rash of violent threats and assaults against lawmakers and election officials across the country. We're learning of new arrests and new details as the Justice Department cracks down. We get more now from Gabe Gutierrez. Tonight, a Georgia man is under arrest, accused of threatening to kill Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene, her office releasing the angry, expletive-filled phone call. You don't think you're going to get paid back? Greene saying threats to murder elected officials should never be tolerated. Another member of Congress from Georgia, Rich McCormick, also saying this week he closed his district office after receiving serious threats of violence. And just today, a Nebraska man was arrested after allegedly assaulting former Arizona Senator Martha McSally while she jogged in Iowa. I am okay. A man came up behind me and he engulfed me in a bear hug and he molested and fondled me until I fought him off. Drop the hammer. With the trial, the man charged with assaulting Nancy Pelosi's husband underway in California and a man with a long gun arrested near the Capitol grounds this week. These latest incidents are only heightening the already tense political climate. Five secretaries of state have confirmed election offices have recently received threatening letters, some laced with fentanyl. I just want to really emphasize the seriousness of this. You know, some people like to call fentanyl a drug, but it's actually poison. It'll kill you. The Capitol Police chief says the number of threats against lawmakers has jumped about 300 percent over the last seven years, and he's calling for more federal funding to keep up with the caseload. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.